Guess what I'm gonna eat. Oh. I'm gonna stop this because I don't want to get copyrighted. So I had to go to two separate restaurants to figure out what I was trying to eat today. So I knew for a fact if the vegetable was gonna be right at this one place, I was getting my vegetable from there because they bomb. And guess what? They had the one I wanted. The one I wanted. The zucchini. Even though it's weird because why the parmesan not... Let me see. Yeah, that's parmesan. Why it's not melted? What do they be doing? What they doing different? But yeah, I knew I was going to get the vegetable. If it would have been corn or zucchini, which I love the zucchini. As soon as they said zucchini, I was like, yep, I'm getting it. And then, oh, my dessert. I think she said it's gooseberry, a gooseberry macaroon, macaroon, however you say it. So that's from the first restaurant. And of course, they gave me some silverware, because they do right. Then for the second one, I just got this because they didn't have this, no side that like I was interested in, and it came with a side, so I just got the chip. And then they had the sea salt kind, which I would have thought that had less calories than the jalapeno kind and the barbecue kind. But when I looked, the sea salt kind had 10 more calories than this one. And I was like, well, that's weird. So I got this one because it was less calories. But I'm really not even going to eat it. Especially, like, not right now anyway. I'm not into it. Um, but what I got from the second restaurant... I didn't know how it was going to look. I just got it because I be trying new things. Um, but I got this flatbread. This um, buffalo chicken with ranch and green chives, I think. Or green onions or something like that. I don't know. Is that the same thing? Is green onions and chives the same thing? I don't know. But yeah, I got this. I looked at it like that because... I wasn't expecting it to look like this, but I'm very excited to taste it because, yeah, I'm just going to fold it like, oh, like this and bite it. Mmm. That's so good. Oh, they did good too. They gave me some, um, they gave me some napkin. No, they didn't. Let me see. Oh, they gave me silverware. They didn't give me no napkins. The first restaurant did give me napkins, though. That's why I still mess with them. Because they is a good business. Probably from now on, I'm getting the flatbread from this restaurant. Because this is good. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite vegetable. Zucchini. And I don't know if it's just because how they make it, but this is so good. It's like heaven, literally. Yeah, it's so good. You know how... Um, you know how you can play with your money or whatever, going to restaurants and stuff, and buying and trying something new, and then you end up not liking it. So you just spent approximately probably thirteen dollars on some food that was new to you or new, some type of way. Yeah, it was new to you, and then you don't even like it. Yeah, that happened to me the other day. I forgot what I got. I forgot what it was. But yeah, I had paid thirteen fifty for some food. I forgot what I had got. And I tasted it, it was so disgusting. And it wasn't even it wasn't even cause 
they made it disgusting, it was because literally I tried something, it was something new and I didn't like it. But this flatbread bussin'. It got wrench on it in um Buffalo. I kind of figured it would be good. Like I said, I don't know if y'all know actually if I said that, but I'm not really a big meat person no more. I really never was, but this is good. It's really good. So I was watching Lizzo TikTok last night and she was eating a burrito. So I saw her first video when she was eating a burrito and she wasn't talking about how she eat the burrito. She just ate the burrito. And I was thinking, they go say something about the way she just, um, she just ate her burrito like that. I was, I was thinking that that was probably like a few days ago, maybe a week ago when her first video came out. So then yesterday I saw her video and she was like, I don't know why y'all worried about the way I eat my burrito. And the way she was explaining it is exactly what I thought when I saw her eat the burrito the first time like that. At first I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, wait, well, technically, if you think about it, that should be the way you eat a burrito. Because if I get a big burrito, I'm going to ask them to cut it in half. And then I would start from the middle to eat down. You know, because normally you get a burrito, you start from one side, you eat it. A lot of bread at one time, right? So, you start in the middle and eat your way backwards or whatever. But, yeah, that's besides the point. I don't know why the Parmesan is not melted on here. Because usually it definitely does be melted. But... Okay, so I didn't put a title um, on, on YouTube. It's going to be a title, but I didn't put a title on Facebook Live for this video because I didn't know exactly what I was going to talk about. But since I got my food, anytime I have food and I do a video, that's always going to be under T Wisdom Food and Money, TWFM, because the food. I don't think I got no tea to spill today. I don't got no tea to spill today. Wisdom, I do got some wisdom, but I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, this the food I already showed y'all that I'm eating it. Money. Hmm. I'm gonna just tell y'all. Learn how to budget and learn how to save. Those are two important things when you're getting money, when you're becoming an adult. So no matter what age you are, even if you're not an adult, knowing how to save money and knowing how to budget your money is important. Oh, I do not like this. Um, Maybe they got a new grater. I don't know. But this, this Parmesan cheese on here is weird. So budgeting is technically it's like the first go around you spend your money how you would normally spend your money. Keep your receipts and track anytime you eating out. Put it in categories. How much money did you spend eating out? How much money did you spill on spend on any bills that you had to pay? But if you young, you probably ain't got no bills unless your parents make you pay your phone bill. How much money you spend on snacks and food and stuff like that? Besides, um, so groceries, basically. So, eating out is one category, and then groceries is another category. How much you spending on clothes and shoes and stuff like that. And then how much you spending on toiletries. Which toiletries would be, like, body wash, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, fewer girl pads and stuff like that. Boom, that kind of stuff. Um, for me personally, hair 
it's a whole nother category. So toiletries, you would think the hair stuff, hair supplies, like body wash and stuff, sh shampoo, all that kind of stuff would be in the same. But for me, my category of hair need a whole different thing. It's just because as you can see, you know, my hair is different than, you know, a lot of people hair. It's unless you black, even though, I don't know, I never met somebody that got the same type of hair as me. None of my family even got the same type of hair as me. Um, so it was, but but it's fine because I understand why. Because I'm like a separate, I'm a separate separate DNA strand. So I guess that's what happened. But yeah, so for my hair, I need a whole different category. Cause first of all. I got to figure out what shampoo work for me. So sometimes, like with the food, I be buying hair products and stuff to test them out. And then it don't work. So I just wasted money to buy that. Even though if I do that, I do use it. I do use it. Even if I know it's not working for my hair, I still use it. Because I just bought it and I spent my money on it. So, yeah. But I do have to do that. I have to, I'm still in the process of figuring out what brand is perfect for my hair. What kind of, um porosity stuff is good for my hair because my hair is both high porosity and low porosity and the back is high porosity because it's finer it's more um loose curls and stuff it's different but in the middle and in the front it's still two different it's high porosity i mean low porosity so i'll be having to figure out what hair products go good with my hair so for budgeting hair is a different category for me so i would put gel Put money aside to if I ever want to get braids, if I ever want to get twists or get a sew-in or get something like some weave in my hair or something that would go in and budget in with the hair. Um, and then saving when you save, at least like if you get two hundred dollars in your check, if you let's say you start off small, you younger, or whatever, you'll check two hundred dollars. At least put thirty dollars away to save. In my opinion, I'll probably put fifty put 50 up to save um but you should be saving any money you get you should save some of it so that on a rainy day or an unexpected cause you still got money you'll never not have money um so right now when my spending money get low and i'll be like oh dang i'm, I'm getting low on money whatever i still got money in the bank i still got money in my savings i still got money hidden in places that just in case you know something happens something come up but because I know that those have been getting saved, when I'm spending my spending money and I get low, I start getting a little anxious and I get keep forgetting, like, I'm not broke, though. <laughs> like, I just, I just don't got no money to be freely spending because the rest of it put up to where I'm saving it in case something really happened. Not just, oh, I want to go out to eat tonight and I only got $12 to spend like that. So it's important for you to do that. And then especially once you start getting older and you you paying bills and you paying more than one bill, just in case, you know, something happened, your phone will never go off. Your rent will never be late. In my opinion, them the only two bills that I only I know about like so far. It's like phone bill, rent. I don't know. But of course there's more bills than that because if you get a house which I guess that's further down the line. Then you gotta pay for the water, the the lights, the gas, all that kind of stuff. You gotta pay that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about money right now. Um, an affirmation to use is any money I spend it goes into circulation. I get it back times ten. Because money is a product and it should always be in circulation. Other than, of course, like I just said, save your money, save some of it, yeah. But money should be in a, um, it's in a cycle, it's in a rotation, it's a product. Um, yeah. And then for the wisdom, I would say, I guess that was one wisdom right there, but. For the wisdom, I would say to figure out what makes you happy in life. And don't say money because money isn't the ultimate goal. Because like I said, money is a product, so it got to be in rotation. So if you got a million dollars today, yes, you have a million dollars. But you're not just going to hold on to that million dollars like it's a freaking um, 
autograph of Beyonce on a freaking book or something. No, you're not just going to hold on to it, cherish that money like that. No, you're going to go spend that money. So, what makes you happy? What you finna spend that money on? What you finna be doing? Does traveling make you happy? Does being secure and having a uh, stable foundation make you happy? Does buying new clothes make you having new clothes anyway make you happy? Going out to eat every day makes you happy. The things you do with the money is what your aspiration is. That's what you want. You don't want the money. Well, you might want the money if you, I don't know, if you're not trying to spend it, you just really want the money. It's a good product like that, I guess. But most likely, you want to travel. You want to go um, shopping all the time. You want to buy new clothes. You want to get new cars. You want to get new jewelry. You want to get um, a house. You want to get whatever you're trying to get so that's what you pray for you don't pray for oh i need some money god can you please send me some money da, da, da. um no god i need financial security so that i can do this this and this god can you please send me a car can you please send me um a house that's fully paid for can you please send me new clothes every week so that i have fresh stuff to walk outside in can you please send me da 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 whatever you really trying to get because it's not the money, it's the products, it's the things that you get after the money. Which still you would boil it down to the morals of everything. You want to be safe, you want to be secure, you want to be protected, you want to be comfortable, you want to live comfortably and free. So those are the aspirations. Not materialistic things. It's the principle behind things. Um, but yeah. That's all I got to talk about today. Go follow me on TikTok at Obey Kiera. Or go follow me on Instagram on um, Obey Kiera. Pretty much other than Facebook, you can find me on social media. It's just Obey Kiera. And I follow people back, just so y'all know. As long as you, as, if you, if you post and stuff, if you post stuff, I'm going to follow, follow you back. If you private, I'm not going to follow you back. I need to see what I'm following. I need, I need to see your content first. Um, but yeah, y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy fall. Don't be out there acting crazy. And if things get crazy, y'all better act like y'all got some sense. Because they love to make certain types of people look bad when things start getting hectic in the world. <coughs> Black people. <coughs> Minorities. Poor people middle class working class yeah um but yeah bye